When I was traveling or living overseas, there was a problem that I bumped into so many times, but I didn't find a proper way to resolve this. And the problem is about introducing where I came from. Of course, I always answer I'm from China, but then people would ask, where about in China? You see, that's the tricky part. I'm from Nanning in Guangxi, but most of the people have no idea where that is because people outside of China probably only heard of places like Beijing, Shanghai, or Shenzhen. So I have to explain Guangxi by mentioning how much is close to Guangdong province and Hong Kong and Macau so that people in this greater area can speak Cantonese or I would mention how Guangxi is so close to Vietnam so that people can just take a bus and drive across the border. But now I'm thinking about it, next time if people ask me this question again, I will show them this video and say, look, this is where I came from. Nanning is the capital city of Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. It's a warm and humid place known as the Green City. I personally think that Nanning is underrated. It's probably not a well-known tourist city, but it's a place that gathers all the cuisine from different parts of Guangxi. Let's start by talking about food, shall we? Firstly, Lao Yu Fen. Lao Yu literally means old friend, and it also refers to a kind of Nanning local flavor. I miss Lao Yu Fen so much when I was in Australia, so I eventually learned how to make it myself. It tastes sour, spicy, and savory. The signature dish in Nanning. Sheng Zha Mi Fen is also a local dish in Nanning that I really like. This dish has a hint of sour flavor because it's a kind of fermented rice noodles. And Peri Lao leaves are a must, and they go well with pork mince and soft noodles. Sheng Liao Fen is one of my favorites too, a dish from Yulin. Sheng Liao literally means raw stuff, including pork, intestine, and liver, and they're fresh and well marinated. And I highly recommend you eat the noodles with the broth because it is really dedicated. Of course, I also love luo si fen, the notorious smelly and spicy river snail rice noodles from Liu Zhou. Although it's not hard to get ready to make packages of luo si fen and make it at home, I still recommend you try it in local stores in Guangxi because it tastes so much fresher, yummy, and not smelly at all. And Guilin mi fen, how can I forget about it? This cuisine is from Guilin, unlike other types of fen. This one usually doesn't have much soup, but it has mustard stock and loads of toppings including crispy pork. Okay, I hope you're not bored by hearing me talking about different kinds of rice noodles all the time. So here is a montage of other types of food products. Now your stomach is filled with food and you want a place to walk around and digest, then Xinxiu Shan would be a great choice. It's a mountain near the city, a heavenly huge park with spectacular scenery, and a place full of my childhood memories. It's kind of like a tourist place, but also a place where my family and friends love to go for a hike every week. What's amazing about Xinxiu Shan is that because it's like a huge botanic garden, so every time you come here, it may look different depending on which season of flowers are blooming. Another iconic place to visit is called San Jie Liang Xiang, literally means three street, two alleys. It's a historic and cultural district that represents the old days of Nanning. Lots of heritage buildings since the end of Qing Dynasty got preserved and renovated. It's vintage but also modern because you can also find commercial stores there, attracting people to visit. Mm. And Deng Yingchao Memorial is also located here. If you are still craving cultural stuff, you can enjoy concerts and plays at Renmin Juyuan, People's Theatre. 
or watch Chinese tradition of Yue Ju Opera and Yong Ju Opera, feeling the charm of intangible cultural heritage. Life in Nanning is cozy, and there are also lots of places to explore. But to be honest, if I'm not going out with my friends, I mostly spend time at home, chilling and playing with cats. You want to eat this? You don't want to eat. I guess hometown is not about how many exciting things are happening, but more of a place where you can find a sense of belonging. This is Nanning. It might not be the most impressive cities that I have been to, but it holds a special place in my heart. Where's your hometown? And please tell me how is it in the comments. I will see you in the next one.